Hello and welcome to our Rebel.com hosting setup tutorial. This should provide you with a helpful walkthrough with setting up your first site. To get started, we will need to log into your account at Rebel.com. To access your hosting services, you will want to go to our hosting manager. This page is used to manage any and all hosting services you have with us. You will see several options including the control panel, editing your hosting package, usage statistics, and cancelling your hosting. For our purposes, we will want to go to the control panel for this hosting package. There are a number of options in the hosting control panel. The first one I'm going to show you will be under the Tools, and it is called the File Manager. This tool provides quick access to the files on your server. You can browse through your files, upload new ones, delete old ones, and there is even some simple editing options. While this tool is quick and convenient for small changes, it is not really efficient if you need to upload an entire site or make other significant changes. For that, we recommend connecting using an FTP client program. To be able to successfully connect, you will need your FTP login settings, which are different from your master account login. Since you have never logged in before, we will go set up a password now. Under FTP, click Show Users and Edit to update the password. One thing to note is the password must be at least 8 characters long, have an upper and lower case letter, and at least one non-letter character, or the password change will fail. Once the password change is complete, I'm going to switch to an FTP client program. I personally use FileZilla, however you can use any FTP program you prefer. Our system will happily connect to any software using the correct settings. The FTP settings are detailed in greater detail in our FAQs, but a summary is that the host name will always be ftp.yourdomain. So for my domain, rebeltesting.com, the hostname is ftp.rebeltesting.com. This is the name of the server we are connecting to to upload the files. The next setting is the username. For the default FTP account, this is always the domain name. If you create additional FTP accounts in the hosting control panel, then it would be the new username you created. The next setting is the password which we recently set. Once connected, you will see the files on the server shown here on the right. Your FTP client program may be laid out differently, of course. We want to upload our files into the public folder, as this is the directory readable from the web. By default, we host on Unix-based servers. But if you prefer a Windows environment or any other special setup, simply reach out to our customer service team and we can help you out. Since we are currently working with a Unix environment, one thing you need to take a look at is the file permissions. These control access to the files and ensure that anyone accessing your hosted content is limited to only the access you authorize. In general, we recommend setting your file permissions to 644, as this will allow visitors to your site to view the files but not make changes. So now that we've uploaded our files and set the permissions, let's go back to our browser and test. And you can see our test page here. Thank you for viewing our tutorial. 
and best of luck in all your coding endeavors. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact and ask.